if you're like me, then you've probably run into some problems when it comes to fasting, then you should definitely watch this video because I'm going to give you a few tips on how you can stay dedicated during your fast this year. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Alexa Vaughn and I make videos all about growing in Christ, gaining a community, and hopefully making a change in the world. Welcome to my channel. Now let's get into the video. Okay, now let me know if this is you. If you're trying to fast and you're about to read your Bible, pull it up and you start reading and looking over everything and then this happens. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait. Supposed to be fast. Hold on. Supposed to be fast. Let me go back to read. Oh, and God said, mm. Mm mm mm. Yep. <sighs> Is it time to eat? Okay. Maybe I should pray. I'll just pray. I'll just pray. I'll just pray. Um. Lord, you're so good, and who you can do all things, which is why I know you can make it time to eat. I, yeah, that's me basically. So, <laughs> if you clicked on this video, then you're like me, and you've had trouble with fasting from time to time. And let me tell you, it has personally been very difficult at times, and I found myself not really concerned with what I should be fasting about and just the fact that I can't eat. So I wasn't fasting. I was just starving myself to four o'clock. I you know what I mean? And I was going to just cut that out. It's just like, hey, I guess fasting's not for me. <laughs> you know? Uh but I was talking to my mom a little bit and a few other people and Basically, you know, they were just like, well, you need to probably just pray for strength. And so that's tip number one is praying for strength to make it through your fast because that can help you with staying focused on God instead of just thinking about, I can't eat. Well, if you're praying for strength, then most of the time when you start praying for one thing, a multitude of other things that you need to pray for, it just starts pouring out. And before you know it, you would have devoted your time to spending it with God and fasting and thinking about food is going to be the furthest thing from your mind. So that's tip number one. Uh, tip number two is practicing it. So I know it sounds, you know, really simple, but most of the time when you're trying to form a habit or you're trying to remain dedicated to something, it really just comes down to you have to keep on doing it. So, you know, if you mess up and you end up eating, you know, some popcorn or whatever, then, you know, don't let that stop you and don't say, well, I messed up, so I can't fast anymore. That is a trick of the enemy. And he doesn't want you to get the victory and the, the reward that comes from fasting. It's not just about fasting so you can get something um, as, as far as like a tangible thing. But a lot of times when you fast and you really break down and commune with God, you can get that healing and that, that and I'm not talking about just uh, like medicinal healing, but I'm talking about like uh, mental healing emotionally you know and uh, at least that's what it's been for me uh, personally and that's something that I will try I continue to cherish really um, and that's kind of what helps me like keeps me going is the fact that I'm seeing the differences and I'm seeing you know um, how stronger I am and it's increasing my faith um, and then um, Another tip would be to schedule out a time for when you're going to speak with God, which that might be difficult for some people, you know, based on if they're at work and, you know, stuff like that. But try to find like an hour or, you know, 30 minutes, something like that, where you can say, okay, I'm fasting. I don't have you know, I got to be at work or I have other obligations, but I'm going to take this little block and 
you know, we're going to, that's when I'm going to do my prayer. That's when I'm going to read, you know, meditate, sing the songs of Zion, whatever, you know, schedule that time. And you'll find that instead of thinking about the fact that you can't eat, a lot of times you'll start thinking about, oh, I don't want to miss my meeting with God. And, you know, that, you know, that can help you as well. Um, also, it might help if you, you know, get out the house. Maybe you don't want to be around the f access to the food. So you might want to just get out the house. You might want to go to the park, do, you know, do a run. And there you can do your meditation and you can do, you know, your reading and praying. Sometimes it helps if you just change the atmosphere that you're in. And, you know, that can shake some things up and it limits your access, which is really important as well. So that way you don't have to worry so much about, oh, my goodness, I, you know, oh, I, I'm just so hungry. I'm this, I'm that. Um, also, it can help if you simply just stay hydrated. I know some people's fast, let them drink water um, and, you know, not now don't just drink mountains of water. So it fills you up. But um sometimes you think you're hungry and you're just dehydrated so that can definitely help as well and then also when you fast um don't go overboard with the food that you're going to eat um when it's time because that also can be a hindrance to you too because if you always have a feast prepared you know then that gonna you know that's gonna keep filling your mind to think of oh I can't wait I got this steak I got this ribs ribs waiting waiting on me you know don't do that <laughs> okay you just you, you add in further temptation so definitely um keep it you know cute when you're fasting <laughs> and dally back you don't want to have all these extravagant things waiting on you you know mouth watering you can't even focus okay we trying to get past that. <laughs> Um, as far as anything else, it kind of just depends on you as an individual, you know, your own strengths and weaknesses, and you know how you can best combat these things. And it's just a matter of, like I say, praying, um, limiting your time, changing your atmosphere, and also have a focus on what you're wanting to, you know, see from God during your fast, because that can be really helpful as well. You know, if you have a certain goal, if you have um, uh, something you want to achieve, then you, it helps you become more determined and more targeted for that. And when you're fasting, that can just help, you know, channel though that, that inner strength that you do have. Um, and so for me personally, I'm all about uh, just mental health right now because I know <laughs> me and I know that I have you know, a tendency to kind of be um, pessimistic when it comes to certain things. So I am just really focusing on finding the joy even in the smallest of things. So that has been my focus for um, being fasting this duration. And, um, you know, I hope you guys have gotten a little bit of something from what I've shared with you today. Let me know um, your goals for fasting in the comments. Definitely leave a like um and so please consider subscribing and definitely leave a comment down below i will try to post videos um every week this is a new adventure for me and i'm so excited to see what god does not only in my life but in the life of you guys so yes definitely like comment and subscribe and thank you so much for watching